Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. We recently visited Bend, Oregon at the end of December 2020. And so in this video, we want to share with you top three places to visit in Bend during winters. We noticed a lot of travel videos posted on YouTube were about skiing or snowshoeing activities in Bend. But honestly, this place has so much more to offer. So stay around till the end of the video and you will find some great recommendations for things to do the next time you visit Bend during winters. We are here near Bend. What we're looking at is Sonia doing her moves. <laughs> it is freezing. So our first stop in Bend was Lava Butte, which comes under Deschutes National Forest. This stunning volcanic eruption site is a part of Newberry National Volcanic Monument. While we couldn't drive up to the top of the butte because of the winter season, we did see some mesmerizing views of the rocks from the volcanic eruption. Our second recommendation for things to do in Bend would be visiting the alpaca farm for someone who is interested in wildlife i think this is a must visit all right excited yes i'm so excited sonia and i have seen alpaca only once and we were absolutely delighted to see these beautiful animals and once again cutie asham ko dinner pe aaogi the alpaca farm that we visited was a part of the crescent moon ranch you also have the option of purchasing and feeding alpaca food for just five dollars. Wow, you are super hungry, dude. Super hungry, are you? And if you would like to take home memories, you can always visit the gift shop where you would find gifts and souvenirs from alpaca wool. <laughs> That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Come on guys. There we go. Woo! 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 Herd approaching us. This guy was fast. Who are you coughing? I think they're fighting. Our last but most favorite stop in Bend was the Smith Rock State Park, where we ended up doing a short trail called the Misery Ridge Trail. Here you get stunning views of the gigantic rocks and the river water cutting through them. Welcome back to another day of hike with Forever Hum. Yeah, this time we are at Smith Rock in Bend, Oregon. We're going to take a 
a short hike, rather short hike, I believe. Uh, it's called the Misery Ridge Trail. Ridge Trail. Okay, Misery Ridge Trail. We'll put that name out in the description below. Um, it's about 3.7-ish mile hike, yeah. um, with an elevation gain of about 900-ish feet. So not that bad. Um, I think the initial phase of the trial is where you gain most of the elevation, but uh, the rest of it is pretty flat. Yeah, uh, but I think it's gonna give us spectacular views because we are just going to go around this Smith Rock. Yep, yep. I'm sure you'll get to see a lot more beautiful things along the way as we go. So, yeah, let's begin the trail. Look at this gorgeous rock in front of us. A fun fact, this rock right here in front of us is used by most of the mountaineers or mountain climbers. Let me show you a glimpse of where the trail leads. You can see a few of them walking along or going up. It's a it's a zigzag path. A windy path. Yeah, that's where exactly we are headed. How excited are you? Very, very, very. Very, very, very means Three times uh, very. super excited. Yes. <laughs> if you are not interested in completing the entire 3.7 mile hike, you always have the option of converting this into a shorter walk to the river, enjoying the picturesque views from there and climbing back up to the parking lot. Whatever the case may be, we highly recommend that you check this place out next time you visit Bend. So we start the trail at the parking lot, cross the Pukul River through a bridge and then encounter a steep ascent going all around the red wall and the Smith Rock and then coming back to the Cricket River where we end the trail. Most difficult. Yeah, this seems very difficult. All the way up there. I'm already starting to feel the heat. She's also feeling the heat. Yes. <laughs> a bunch of a crowd is actually also going from that direction. So, depending on how you want to finish off this trail, you can go either way. We started off with the most difficult part, which is climbing up this mountain, so that we can get this out of the way right in the beginning. Because as you tend to go towards the end of the trail, you kind of feel a little tired and want to kind of not take on high elevations. We were here yesterday on the very same trail but we didn't go all the way. We climbed up till here. We didn't have the time. We didn't have the time exactly because we were here with our friends uh, Megha and Prashant. We, they were they just left us this morning from Bend. Really had fun with them in the last three or four days. So a big shout out to Megha and Prashant. Uh, hope to meet them sometime soon again. I'm glad I don't have to go down this way. That would have been difficult for me. I'm afraid of heights. Yeah, some people prefer going up on a steep climb rather than going down. But I think this certainly is beautiful. I could stay here and have my lunch. <laughs> but no, because we just had our breakfast, so we have plenty of time before we could head for lunch. And it wouldn't be too much of a surprise if we make you guess what we have for our lunch. <laughs> so. We'll reveal the answer when we have our lunch. Uh, but guys, if you haven't correctly guessed it, that just means you haven't watched our videos. So, watch them all. Assuming the temperature here is almost 20 or sub 20 degrees Fahrenheit, I would have expected a lot more snow, but there was no precipitation in the last couple of days. If it had snowed, it would have been a winter wonderland, just like how we saw in Mount Hood or Leavenworth. Don't forget to check out that vlog as well. Now let me show you the red wall. 
this is the red wall where most of the mountain climbers go the crooked river passing through the hills of the Smith Rock State Park so yesterday we hit we hit 1k subscribers yay hooray thank you all for your love and support yes indeed thanks to everyone for being with us for the last 7 months and if you enjoyed our content till now we can assure you it's going to get more entertaining from here on yes we try to put as much diverse content as possible so if you are new to this channel do let us know what kind of content you would like us to post These steps remind me of uh, the trail we did back in Hawaii a couple of years ago. It's called the Coco Head Trail. The, that trail only has steps. There's no flat surface. You gain on elevation, and you keep gaining on until you reach the top. It, it was quite a hard trail, but the view from the top was breathtaking, obviously. Hawaii, right? It has to be worth taking. After reaching at the top of the mountain, we found the trees covered with white snowflakes, although. from afar it looked like these trees had white leaves instead of green and we also started to notice the snowflakes lying all around on the rocks nearby at the top it was amazing to look at it almost felt like we were picking up shredded coconut So you can see at the backdrop there's like a few mountains. <laughs> We have no idea what these mountains are honestly. Look at these snowflakes. Yeah. No. Wow. Yes. Let's go have a look at the monkey rock. Please be careful of the loose gravel while descending from the top. Look at the cute birds going along with the river's flow. Ooh. So guys, you can see there are a bunch of people 
practicing or doing mountain climbing. So here's a closer look of mountain climbers on Smith Rock State Park. Wow, that is amazing. How they are able to achieve such great feat in the cold weather. I think this is one of the popular spots because I see quite a few climbers here. Just a few yards short of the complete hike. Now we'll have to climb up. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready for the sandwiches. <laughs> One Done. hell of a climb. One hell of a climb. So we finally made it to the top at the parking lot. How are you going to rate this hike? Um, I think this hike was amazing. I would still rate it 9, uh, given that it was one of the hard hikes that we've done. But uh, it's certainly beautiful. I, I would recommend it to anyone who is visiting Smith Rock State Park the next time. I think this is open throughout the year. Yeah, and the best part is like it's not that difficult. I mean, it says it's difficult, but we are also beginners when it comes to hiking. And yeah, as long as you're fit. Me. Yeah, as long as you're fit, uh, you should be able to complete this hiking time. Yeah, if I can do it, so can you. Okay, guys. So this is our lunch. This is a veggie bowl. On the left and on the right is the sandwich. <laughs> So guys, this is it for our vlog on winter activities to do in Bend. If you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to give this a thumbs up. And if you are new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe because we would love to have you as a part of our family. While we work on preparing and creating more new and exciting videos for you, stay safe, stay healthy and keep watching rest of the videos from our channel. See you next time.